Well, there is growing concern this morning after the latest COVID-19 numbers show yet another troubling rise in hospital cases. The Power 2's Chris Renier is live in the Central West End detailing the latest figures from the St. Louis Metropolitan Task Force. Chris, what can you tell us? Bar, good morning to you, Marjorie, good morning to you as well. We're just outside of Barnes Jewish Hospital. BJC here is one of the four major hospital systems that make up the pandemic task force. Overall, the task force hospitals have 92% of staffed hospital beds occupied this morning. ICUs are at 81%. Nearly all of the latest task force figures are increasing. New hospital admissions are up 10 from 32 to 42. The seven day average of hospital admissions increased by one to 39. The task force wants to keep that number below 40. The seven day average of hospitalizations is up by nine to 222. And the number of confirmed COVID positive patients in the hospital also jumped by nine to 242. There have been 13 COVID deaths in just the last three days. We haven't seen that many deaths in a three day stretch since the beginning of April. There have been 19 COVID deaths over the last seven days. 100 more COVID patients have been hospitalized in just 11 days. COVID patients in ICUs and on ventilators have more than doubled since July 1st. And in the last seven days, 274 patients have been admitted to hospitals while only 189 have been discharged. We asked the St. Louis County Executive whether a return to restrictions could be looming. We'll talk about um, other, uh, other advisories, other restrictions. We're not there yet. Right now, all of our effort is going to be focused on getting people vaccinated as quickly as possible. And here's why. The task force says unvaccinated people make up more than 95% of the recent COVID hospital cases. Just over 51% of adults 18 and older are fully vaccinated in the St. Louis area, and 70% of patients recently hospitalized in our region are under 65 years old. Jefferson County this morning has moved back to orange status and is reporting its first confirmed case of the Delta variant. The task force saying that Delta variant rise is certainly fueling the overall surge. Marjorie and Blair, the key to stopping this getting more people vaccinated. For now, live in the Central West End, I'm Chris Vernier.